So, hey guys, Michelle here. It's uh, Good Friday and uh, just wanted to give you something to work with during these uh, holidays. Uh, first of all, we're going to be mindful of what we're doing, of course. This whole corona situation has put um, a big portion of the world in hostage. So, um, but anyway, we need to keep the economy going. And I created this video for you who now wants to take the step and uh, use all these video platforms that is available at this moment. Personally, and for our program, we are using Zoom. We think that Zoom is a very great tool for meetings. Maybe, perhaps not the, the most um, useful when it comes to uh, webinars, but when you do big meetings, gatherings, and so on, I think Zoom is, is a great tool. Now, what I've seen for the past four weeks is that the, the transition from um, meetings face to face to video got some, a lot of companies and, and individuals a bit confused. So I've been working with videos for, with video meetings basically since for, for the past three years now. Uh, I do four to six meetings every day. It's part of the program. I do coachings, I do webinars, I do um, workshop, a uh, couple of hour workshops uh, throughout uh, this um, platforms. And what it has done for me is just amazing how it has affected my uh, whole business actually. Now we can, uh, we have time to do so much more each and every day. Um, when we do have face-to-face -face meetings, the, it is really those meetings that you want to go to. We have already sort out all the things in between. And so when you meet me on a personal meeting, uh, business-wise, uh, that's usually when we have come to some form of agreement that this is worth looking f um, more into and so on. So for us, for us it has been absolutely amazing. I, I work with hundreds, uh, if not thousands of companies the last couple of years where we have helped them to take this digital step. So I have this presentation for you where you can uh, just um, uh, pick and choose uh, a couple of uh, pointers where, so you can have efficient meetings that I wanted to share at this point. Now, uh, give me one second here. This is also a great tool, by the way. If you don't use Canva, then that's my, uh, it, it's a great recommendation, actually. You want to create professional uh, presentations or um, flyers or posters or whatever, then go to canva.com, create an account. It's a great, great um, tool to have there. Now, let's talk about meetings 101, all right? And uh, first, I want to take this, uh, you have to dress properly. And what I mean with that is that try to see what's the codes of your business. Now, today I'm very relaxed as this is Good Friday. Um, the office, as you can see, it's empty. And uh, yeah, I'm very, very aware of um, that I, I'm not in my suit. Uh, usually people see me in the suit. It's okay. You know me by now. I'm serious. But this is the thing. I see so many people, they don't take care of themselves, um, etc. Remember, when you are in a video meeting, the person on the other side are looking, okay? There is no, that's one of the gray areas where in a face-to-face -face meeting, we don't think about what the other person is doing to that extent, but in a video meeting, it's, you, you are there all the time. You can't poke your nose. You can't look like shit. You have to dress properly and, and look uh, clean. Okay. So now that's, that's a very good point at least. Um, second, check your systems before you launch. It's so easy nowadays that we are such, we are so in a rush that we don't double check. Now, nothing is more aggravating than joining a meeting and the technology just don't work. You haven't checked your sound, you haven't checked your camera, for an example, um, or you're sitting in an area where the, the, the light is good. All of these things, make sure the internet connection is there. And of course, things can happen, but it's always good to, you know, 
double check, check and double check. You always have to see everything is working. Um, prior to the meeting, I always suggest that you set a clear agenda because you have to remember this. When you enter a video meeting, it's very um, straight to the point. And in some business culture, for an example, in Sweden, um, we have this business culture where we, there's a lot of um, socializing, talking things going on in between our meetings. Um, we go and have a coffee and we talk some, uh, some about the family and what happens in life in general. And it's very relaxed. So one of the things that really messes up the situation for a lot of companies now is that they, um, they haven't prepared for, for these meetings accordingly. You should always send an agenda. That's just, that's just bottom line. But again, um, in real life, when you meet people face to face, usually that's not a case. That's, I know we say that, but that's not usually not what's happening. So in this, but now we really need to do that. So send a clear agenda. What do you, what, what topics do you want to cover? Um, so important and always, always close the agenda. The last point of the agenda should always be next step. Okay. Don't forget that. It's so easy that we just go with it and we say, oh, so we, we, let's talk next week. And that's like shooting a, a shotgun in the universe. You hit everything and nothing. Okay. You have to pinpoint. So what is the next step? When are we going to meet? Um, schedule that straight away. Pick up your phone and schedule the meeting. Takes two minutes. Okay. Just do whatever. The make it clear. What is the next step? Um, this is also something that I, that I've seen so many times these days. Um, and I just want to say it. And I think you get the point. Just stick to the allotted time. It's so easy to, um, to do this wrong, to, to, uh, go 15 minutes over and so on. Make sure you're on time and make sure that you close on time. It's very simple. Just do it. Nothing strange about that at all. Okay. This is one thing that I really want to um, point out. We need to stay extremely, I mean, be focused. Give your person on the other side, give them your maximum attention, okay? Because again, when you meet somebody face to face, maybe you pick up the phone, maybe you, do, you poke your nose, those things that I said before. You can't do that. Now you have to realize that you are in the you're in the bullseye. All right. Give the full attention and don't do anything else. Make sure that you are there. You are aware of what's happening. Listen carefully of what the other person is saying. Watch them also. Because now, I mean, we're talking about sales. We're talking about business development. We're talking about how to, how to push our business from A to C. You need to pay attention. So be there and cut away all the distractions you can. Shut down your phone, put it somewhere else, or uh, no emails, nothing should be there. Make sure that the other person and the meeting has your full attention, okay? No excuses, just do it. Yeah, uh, and this is just, uh, when you have group meetings, for example, it's nothing more aggravating and takes so much unnecessary time um, than, when other people start talking and you hear dogs and you hear children. So listen, when it's not your turn to talk, mute your microphone. Again, be, be present, be there, pay attention to what is what, what's said or not. Turn on your camera for God's sake also, because that is nothing is more boring than having a video meeting and the other person just has, don't have their um, uh, picture showing. That's, that's just rude in my opinion. Now, of course, there is exceptions with internet connection and so on. Yes, but in general, you get my point. But mute your microphone. I don't want to hear your kids, dogs, birds. Come on, farts. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so uh, make sure to do that. Um, when you enter a group meeting, this is, this is one thing that you can actually do. Announce that you're there, okay? Either through the chat or just say it out loud. 
So you don't just sneak in. In some, some, sometimes that can just be weird. So, so announce your arrival, very easy. If you're the host, pay attention to who's there and maybe you can even introduce the other person that comes in uh, to the group. That is also very, a, a very nice thing to do. So, um, yeah. Um, this is also one thing. Now, when we do video meetings, of course, it's different when you do it to somebody you really know, you have a great relationship. Um, it's always, there, is, there will always be exceptions, okay? But now I'm talking about business meetings in general, where we do our business as usual, but through um, video. Now, this is, this is, this is where the, the impression can be, get so, be, be so wrong. It can become so wrong. When you are in a place where there's a lot of sounds and it's distractions and you basically are walking around looking at everything and this person is trying to have a conversation with you. Listen, cut it out. Make sure that you're at the, po at the place where it's no chaos, no chaos. And again, because it becomes so intimate, these meetings now are, it's, you, you get so close in a different way. So all these details matter on a whole, complete, on a complete different level. So make sure to manage the chaos, chaos. Okay. Um, and then of course, um, summarize the meeting in the end. Make sure you have the agenda and then you summarize the meeting in the end. Make sure that everyone is on board. Make sure that everyone has understood the, your uh, message or the point of the meeting and so on. And, um, and uh, yeah, wrap it up in a, in a very clear way. Because sometimes I've been to video meetings where it basically became like, okay, so bye-bye. Well, and that's it. And you go like, whoa, what just happened? Wrap it up. Be calm and just do it a nice exit for the meeting. Okay. Remember that all the participants, they will remember 10% of what you said, but 90% of the feeling that you created. So we need to focus on those 90%. Okay. But it's so easy for us to turn the, turn those numbers um, around. And we say, we are so focused on what to say that we forget everything else but it's basically the other th stuff that they will remember. Now we have to make those 10% count. So don't get me wrong here, but they will remember the feeling that you created. So make sure to um, remember that. And I wanna close with these uh, slides as well. Um, I've been doing this for a couple of years now. But prior to that, I spoke to thousands of people. I've, I've been on stages speaking to thousands of people. I've been in 15 different countries um, speaking to uh, entrepreneurs, startups, etc. And when I first took this step into the video um, realm of videos, um, I was quite, I was not humble, okay? And, but karma made me humble. I was so tired in the beginning because I found it, it, it for me, it was difficult because I, my fear was that, because I know, put me in front of thousands of people and I'll, I'll give them something they never uh, experienced before. But it is a difference to do that through a lens, okay? I'm, I'm looking into this small camera right now and if I'm not relaxed and, if, and, and the only thing I'm thinking now is that, okay, I want you to feel motivated. I want you to feel excited. I want you to feel my presence. And if you don't do that, that was a big issue for me. So I had to concentrate really, really, because I was, I was exhausted after one hour session in the beginning. And I couldn't understand why, because nobody, I had nobody to ask. So, so basically I had to find it out uh, myself uh, the hard way. But I'm telling you this right now. I don't care what background you have. I don't care how many people you've spoken to, how many, me, your experience, it's, it doesn't matter. If you don't have 500 hours in front of that camera, then you're a beginner. So accept it, okay? 
don't put un unnecessary pressure on yourself and act like, oh, I have to uh, know this and that and so on. No, no, no. Um, this is okay. It takes time. If it takes two weeks, good for you. If it takes three months, it's okay. But if you are aware of the feeling and the message and 90% of the feeling, 10% of the message, if you're just aware of those things, you'll be okay. Trust me. So guys, that's about it. Um, and yeah, I mean, if you want to get in contact with me uh, and the company that, uh, that I'm uh, running, then, uh, then just look up us. Uh, look, look me up on LinkedIn. Please connect with me on LinkedIn. I'm there. I'm very active on LinkedIn. And you can also see what other people, um, what their experience is and so on. But join my network. It's an international network with uh, tens and thousands of, uh, of entrepreneurs uh, globally. And you're most welcome to connect with me there. And if you like this video, please remember, give me, uh, help me to spread the word. Now, like it, um, uh, write something in the comment or, or anything, and uh, please share it as, as well if you, if, you, if you enjoy this one, okay? It's more to come. Now, I hope you stay well. Happy Easter and uh, take care. Ciao.